life. However, it can also cause disease and even death. Throughout the course of this video, we will show you how school staff can protect themselves from blood-borne diseases. What you learn from this video could potentially save your life, or my life, or my life, or his life, or his life, or my mom's life, or my mom's life, or my life. Some of the most dangerous blood-borne diseases are the hepatitis B virus, HBV, the hepatitis C virus, HCV, and the human immune deficiency virus, HIV. But of course, there are so many more. These diseases can be spread through contaminated blood and contaminated body fluids. Therefore, all bodily fluids should be treated as if contaminated. Small precautions, like just washing your hands, may help to keep you safe. However, it is important to take every precaution offered. Everyone thinks that it can't happen to them, but it can. Some of the most simple precautions are wearing gloves when treating bleeding students. Sanitizing any infected area. Washing or wearing gloves while washing infected laundry. Washing hands frequently. Properly disposing of infectious waste and sharks. We must also consider personal protective equipment, or PPE. Everyone in the school should have access to PPE, such as aprons, gloves, goggles, and masks. They are located in the following places in the school. What's going on here? Apply pressure to the wound, please, and go immediately to the nurse. You are coming with me. Uh oh. Flying Eagle, this is Home Pigeon. We have a cleanup in the hallway, code red. Uh, put the gloves on, spray it with the disinfectant, and wipe it up. The right atrium is where the process begins, where the CO2 blood enters the heart. Through the tricuspid valve, through the right ventricle, the pulmonary artery, and lungs. Once inside the lungs, it dumps its carbon dioxide, it picks out its oxygen supply, then it's back to the heart. What's for lunch today? I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to eat anyway. I don't, I don't really feel good. Though it is not blood, vomit can still contain pathogens, and it can be very dangerous. Therefore, it must be treated as if infected, and it must be cleaned up in a very precise manner. Our janitor will show you how to do this. The aortic valve where the blood leaves the heart and is channeled to the rest of the body. The arteries, arterioles, and capillaries to bring the oxygenated blood to the cells. The tissues in the cell turn off waste and CO2, which is carried through the venules and the veins, through the larger vena cavity, through the atrium and lungs, and we're back to where we started in the heart. This is how you take care of puke. Remember, 
One of the most important things when dealing with pathogens is that you must always wear gloves when dealing with bodily fluids. And also, equally important, is how you take the gloves off. No, Jessica, not like that. Like this. So that all the pathogens are on the inside of the glove. Remember, after you're involved in any kind of bodily fluid spill, you must wash your hands very thoroughly.